Hey guys, well, it's me again, Don Kiker, and I am at Not On Main Street over here off of um, Dunedin. Uh, I've been, haven't been having much luck at all doing uh, Pinellas County and doing the thrift store thing. So I figured I'm uh, out working and doing some, I'm doing some projects and stuff over at my buddy's house over on Indian Rocks. So I figured I'd uh, come over here and hit an antique store because I got a little break, little break coming in and I'm waiting for some materials to come in. And uh, so we're gonna get inside here and this is another aspect of, um, you know, the thrift store thing. Because if you do thrift stores and you have your little thing where you're, what you're doing, you might wanna get into doing the antique malls and, and collectibles. So let's get inside and hopefully you find something. <laughs> All right now, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Off I go. Okay guys, here it is. Not on Main Street, antiques, eh, unique collectibles. Thank you for 20 years. I've been coming here for almost 20 years. I think it's been 20 years. All right, it's 2424 Main Street, or off of Main Street. Let's get inside. Cool. Hey guys, as soon as I got in, I uh, turned and made a quick right into the first booth, and I'm looking around, uh, some blendo glass and other little gizmos going on in here. These little coffee things are cool. Had a few sets. Eh, more of an antique -y thing, because I'm, I'm really looking for my uh, tiki and my uh, mid-century stuff. And baseball memorabilia stuff. Eh, that's not really my bag. Anyway, you see what's going on. I'm not really seeing anything jumping out of me, but we're going to get around here and look look for some more stuff. All right. Okay, guys, we're over here. Just like a bunch of... Um, it's like country, country corner, I would call up kind of stuff. <gasps> Rolling pins. Is there a Foley in here? Who's this? I love, I love my weakness <laughs> is rolling pins and they want how much for this thing here? It's a vintage large walnut rolling pin. That ain't no Foley. Ugh, and they want 30 bucks. Ooh, eh, you know, it is what it is. All right, I'm looking around. Hey, this is more of a country type kind of thing. Oof, not really my thing. All right, interesting enough. Let's keep looking around. Oh, guys, check this out. Right over here in the corner, it's a really neat cowboy. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. It was 68 bucks for him. Western cowboy wall display, signed by artist something Kernick something. That guy's really cool. Neato. I like cowboys. I like riding horses too. All right, off I go. Okay, guys, over here it's just all very stark white. And it's all shabby chic furniture, and it's not really my bag. And I, I've seen all this stuff before, and they do the roughing up thing. That's not really my thing. Some people like it. It's not for me. I'm more of the Danish modern, uh, teak, and uh, rosewood kind of guy. <laughs> all right, well, it's interesting, but not really the thing for me. Let's keep looking. Okay, guys, check this out. Try a good old-fashioned root beer float. Wonderful, refreshing, and extremely delicious. Made with rum chata. That's cool as hell. And they want, it looks like 60 bucks, and it's marked down to 50. I like it, it doesn't look vintage, but it's pretty cool. I'll take a picture. Eh, everything else, not so much. This mini Christmas tree with the little lights gizmos. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> $75 they wanted, it's on sale for $58. That is really neat. Look at that guy, wow. It's a bit high for me. I love them though. My great grandmother used to have one, <laughs> like the bigger one. All right, we're finding stuff while we go. Check this out. It's an Astro Gumball Machine with key. Key in lock show keys. Ask for staff member and it's 48 bucks. That's pretty damn cool. That's a real thing. Wow. That's not too bad, really. That's not a bad deal at all. I mean, you could have it and put it in your little storefront. All right, off I go. Too much for me. All right, guys, the other day I found one of these um, uh, depression Vaseline glass juicers at the um, Goodwill for five dollars and they only get ten dollars on ebay and they they're asking 25 it's just that's a wishful thinking nope off i go oh my goodness look at this owl oh my god it's almost reminds me of a blanco but not really for 35 bucks uh, 
it's a little bit high for me, but wow, that's really pretty. What are we, what are we, what are we, being, what are we calling you? What are you? I'm sorry. Always upside down. Every day of my life, upside down. Oh, it's a Costa Boda owl. That, you know what? It was 50 and now it's uh, 35. That's, that's actually not a bad deal. I've had a bunch of Costa Boda stuff and I think that's uh, Sweden. Uh, really pretty, but a little too high for me, but I do like it. <laughs> I'd rather find it out thrifting for five. Oh, up I go. Check it out, it's a swung vase for 35 bucks and it's blue. It's really pretty. Well, let's look inside. Uh, see, this is a thing, if, you're, if you don't know, uh, if, if you see this, um, there'll be this, it's like a collection of uh, bad water, mineralized water, and uh, it's referred to as being sick inside. And I can see it in here. I don't know if you can really see it really well. But if you put water in, specifically this really hard water in Florida, you'll destroy your vases. You have to use distilled water or, um, yeah, use distilled water. Uh, it'll help you out. This, not so much. I mean, 35 is not bad, but if you're ready to get it for yourself, that's not a bad deal. Close, off I go. this clock I thought it was like a football thing it is not a football thing it's a 60s retro cool clock in brown but look at that right there busted <sighs> that's really pretty look at that look at the mechanism on the front let's see if it's in the back wow that's really it's really nice and I guess you hang this thing you can hang it or actually put it on the wall but it's got that little wall hanger uh let me get this down here oof that is really cute but it's like I said it's damage there and they they want it looks like 40 marked down from uh 64 it's just damaged it's the i can't do anything with it but it is cool it'd have been really cool if it was like a drippy glaze lava orange all right neat enough oh my god god in heaven check out this orange phone rotary orange phone for a hundred bucks oh my god that is sickening crazy. Oh my God, that's cool. It's just a little high for me. Wow, that's really neat. Mmm, mmm, that is like my color. <laughs> wow, a hundred bucks. Mmm, for 50, I might even make an offer. I'm thinking about that thing. That thing is wicked cool. All right, off I go, wow. Here's the ever popular <laughs> penguin ice bucket. The funny thing is, I used to find these specific guys, they'd be like three to five dollars all the time back in the early 2000s. And now they're getting harder and harder to find. I used to get maybe five, ten dollars, and then there was a time I just would pass on them because you just see them all the time. And how much do they want for this guy here? They want 50 bucks. Actually, I sell them out of the shop for 35. And it's even, it's damaged right over here too. That's just, no. Eh, I'm not looking, off I go. Check out this hood ornament. Wow, it's like a freaking jet. Look at that thing. Wow. It's pitted and stuff, but wow, that's really pretty. 53 Oldsmobile, wow. That is sick and crazy, how much are you? 300. And twenty-five dollars. I'm sure you know to have it rechromed and do all that shit. Yeah, uh, 1953 Oldsmobile hood ornament. That is just too damn cool. Wow, I'll even get my opener. That's really cool. Too high for me, <laughs> but need to see. Off I go. This booth over here has some really cool stuff in it. I'm gonna do a quick little pass. Uh, look at this guy here. It's kind of looking like a peaky Africana type kind of, wow, that thing's crazy and spooky. Look at that freaking thing. <laughs> Neat. Hey guys, here's something really unusual. It's a chicken. I guess it's like a child's toaster. Look at that thing. It's not a real toaster. It's got a little weird thing there. It's not a real toaster, but wow. What's a ticket say? What do you say, ticket? It is a... Ram Original Child's Tin Toaster, 1950. How much? How much? Would it be around? Come on, you. I don't even, it doesn't even have a price on it. Now it's stuck in the damn thing. <laughs> Code on. It's 
stuck inside the thing there. Jesus Christ. Come on out. I see a price on it. What is it? It's like, no, it doesn't even have a price. All right, guys. No price. Nope. Up we go. Neat though. Never seen one. Check it out. It is a latex panty girdle by Empress. Uh, and I guess they went $2 for it. Hmm. See if there's anybody in the house. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys, well, it's an empty box. <laughs> so there you go. Nobody's home. But it was neat to see. I've never seen one. Cool fabric line. Take a picture and off I go. Neat. It is a um, floor uh, magnifying lamp. This thing's really nice, wow. I really like that, 150 bucks, it's a uh, 50s. Yeah, I have actually, I have a Dazor uh, floating uh, fixture magnifying glass floor stand model uh, 1410, working St. Louis, Missouri. It's very pretty. I don't need one, but <laughs> eat, I'll go. never seen this in my life it is fox head beer 400 they went $60 for it that is really pretty cool I've never seen it sorry about the glare wow never seen anything like that one before uh, it is from uh, world's famous Wasahaka water or whatever it's from uh, Wisconsin it's pretty cool too much for me someone will have to have it and it just isn't gonna be me okay This little uh, tiki corner. Someone's making little tiki things and they're really kind of cool. Look at that, they're very well done. Aw, I don't see a price. Okay, 125 for this gizmo over here. And this one here is, uh, this one here's 100 and, 150. Oof. So I'm guessing they're all probably around 150. Oh, that was 152, wow. Oh, it's a whole diorama like type kind of thing. Okay, ah, that's not too bad. It's pretty cool. And then there's this guy over here. I mean, I do carve tiki's as well. If you follow any of my other junk, but uh, that's very cool. It's a little little out of my range, but I can make my own. All right, I like the eyes. <laughs> Off I go. Hey guys, check this out. Look at the design on this little turquoise uh, little jug. It is a vintage atomic uh, turquoise milk glass craft for $39. Wow, that's a bit out of my thing, but I've never seen this design before. It's not signed on the bottom either. That is really wicked cool. Never seen it. A little out of my price range, but if I found it, I would have bought it. All right, cool. Off we go. Check it out. It's a gravel art dude playing a guitar. That's 60s. Wow, where's the pricey? Where's the pricey? 22 bucks. That's not too bad. That's not too bad for what it is. I mean, if you're putting your room together, that would be really cool. Wow. That's, it's not really, I'm not buying it, but that would make your little room set it off, off in the corner. All right, cool. Off I go. Neat. Something. This little orange piggy bank, it is so cute. It looks like it's from the 60s. What do we got? Uh, vintage 60s, here you go. Yellow and aqua daisy piggy bank, 22 bucks. That's pretty cool. That's not too bad. I don't see any chips really on it. A little bit of, little thing there, but mm, that's pretty cool. I like it. I like that, I like that thing a lot. That's an almost maybe. It was like seven dollars. I get it. <laughs> All right, neat. Off I go. You guys, check it out. It's Sophia Loren. Get that glare off of it. Oh, Why well, they gotta do that? And they want fourteen dollars for it. Eh, it's kind of a cool little black and white picture. She is beautiful. Wow. Eh, a little too high for me, but very nice. Off I go. This 
stylized cat. Wow. Wow, that's really cool. Mid-century 1956 black cat statue, 21 inches tall, $65. Sold as found, so that means there's a break in him somewhere. Up oh, there it is, right there. Busted ear. That sucks. That really sucks. I mean, that would have been like 130 bucks. But it is what it is. All right, need enough. Off I go. You guys check it out. It's another piggy bank. It's cute. Ooh. I'm not picking him up. He's big. 70s USA F48 mold ceramic piggy bank. California pottery. That is so cute. Look at that guy. Aw. That would go really cool in something. Not my ass though. Up I go. Check out the shadow box. Wow. Look at that thing. Wow. That's a really dealy there. Look at this. Look at this stuff going on. Wow. They went $275 for it. That's that's not bad at all. That is not a bad deal. It's it's on the floor, but I'm gonna try and get a good picture of it. Wow, that is really that's really super cool. That's the find of the day, man. Wow. Super cool. <laughs> Out of my reach, but wow. I'd like to find one out in the world for maybe a hundred. That's cheap. I mean, if that was mine, I'd be asking $600 for it. Great deal. Off I go.